If you stay for the credits after Lights Out this weekend, you might see a line that reads, based on the short film by David F. Sandberg. Back in 2013, the Lights Out director made a short under the same name with the same concept. A much more stripped back version of the central conceit, the short is an interesting touchstone for the tricks and scares to come in the feature, especially as Sandberg recreates the short for the opening sequence to introduce the viewer to the mechanics of the film. Here's a comparison showing just how close the two scenes are. The scene in the feature is an almost shot-for-shot -shot remake of the original short, including the use of the original actress, Lotta Lostin. Sandberg milks the tension in this scene by always cutting to Lotta before she turns the light back on, leaving the monster unseen for a moment in the dark. This time, Sandberg doesn't cut away, and we see Lotta test the light twice more. Timing is very slightly different, but the jump scare comes at the same time in both versions. The two films diverge after this point. Lotta Lostin is the main character in the short, but in the feature, she's just a co-worker of the main character's dad. And after the opening, she doesn't show up at all for the rest of the movie. Other elements from the short do show up later in the film. Lotta uses duct tape to keep the light switch on, which is employed not just in the feature, but is the main image for the posters and marketing materials. Sandberg also uses a flickering light to add tension which happens several times over the course of the film. Apart from these similarities in the one scene, the film really only uses the short as a jumping off point. Sandberg and his screenwriter clearly saw the value in the scene, which allows the audience to figure out how the monster works at the same time as Lada and introduce the film's style. To see what other tricks Sandberg has up his sleeve, you'll have to see Lights Out when it hits theaters this Friday, July 22nd. <laughs>